heard yesterday the first part of today's gospel. This completes the teaching of Jesus. And that image that is part of this teaching speaks of the vine and the branches, an image that Jesus used to remind us of our deep, intimate relationship with God and with him and with the church. I am the vine, you are the branches, Jesus says, remain in me. And all who remain in me, Jesus promises, will bear great fruit. How do we remain in Jesus is the question. And he answers that today. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in me, in my love, and in the love of the Father. St. Irenaeus said almost from the beginning of salvation history, nothing is greater than that union that God made with his people. You are my people, I am your God. And the way that that union is lived out is to follow God's way, his law, the commandments that he gave. You know, so often today we live in a world where people think that personal freedom is the ability to do anything they want, to make their own decisions about everything. Jesus answered that thought in the gospel. We really become slaves to sin if we think like that. We're only truly free if we do what God wills us to do. The one who created us ordered life in a certain way, and the commandments that he gives to us are not meant to restrict human freedom. They're meant to make us truly free. That's what he hopes, that's what he says. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. That's the yearning of every human heart, to be completely happy, at peace, to be full of joy. We look everywhere for that answer to the yearnings of our heart and so often we choose so many things that don't set us free, make us happy. They create chaos, brokenness, unhappiness. Jesus tells us quite simply, if you keep my commandments, if you follow the law of God, your joy will be complete and you will remain in my love. And we know, you know, that question that the scribe asked Jesus, which of the commandments are the greatest? It's a a really important question and difficult. We think of the Ten Commandments, but Jewish law has 664 commandments, and they're all important. They all have to be followed and lived, some big, some small. And we know the answer Jesus gave. The greatest of all the commandments is to love God with our whole heart and soul and to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's what Jesus is speaking about, love. St. Augustine said the whole of our Christian faith can be summed up in one virtue, charity. If we don't have love in our heart for God and for one another, we aren't in union with Jesus Christ. We can't be. And that's a challenge because that requires great things of us. If we're truly going to love one another as Jesus is asking, we've got to be able to forgive the people that hurt us. We've got to let go of those hurts, those grudges that we so often hold. We've got to be less self-centered and thinking more of others. It's a call to a life of service, of sacrifice. That's what Easter reminds us. As we gaze on the cross and realize the great gift that Jesus offered his life for our redemption, we're called to do the same. In every way we can, to love God, to love our neighbor is at the heart of the Christian faith.
And so we're called by Jesus to look into our own hearts. How well do we follow the commandments of God? You know, too many Catholics like to pick and choose, make up their own faith, decide what fits in and what they don't like. We can't be in communion with Christ. How well do we follow the teaching that God has revealed to us in Jesus Christ, even when it's difficult, even when we struggle, even when we don't completely understand or agree? It's through prayer, it's through discipline, through courageous living that we grow in faith every single day. Let's take the words of Jesus to heart. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. And that love will truly set us free from sin and help us in this life to know the joy that Jesus desires to bring to our hearts. And it most certainly will lead us to life in his kingdom.